Your home is totally clean, mega neat, and ultra organized all the time, right? Of course it's not. Obviously nothing's organized, so I need help. But there are people who live that way every day. We put everything in the master calendar. You can call him crazy. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is borderline too much. We call them clean freaks. These are my people. I'm designer Sabrina Soto, and I'll be the first to admit, I'm a clean freak. In this next hour, I'm on a journey to meet America's most obsessively organized people. Hi! Wow. This is ultra organized. I'll see what great tricks they have up their sleeves. I love it so much. Thank you. I walked in and I was supposed to be the expert and I was like, say what? And share their genius tips with you. Okay, this is our wanted board. That is so <laughs> cute. It's time to get started. But first, I want to show you the house of a clean freak you may already know, me. I'm constantly on the road traveling for either personal projects, TV appearances, or my own HGTV show like The High Low Project. So if I don't stay organized in my life, I'll never be able to stay on track. Before I hit the road again, I wanna show you around my apartment and give you some of my organizing secrets. In my old house, I converted a small bedroom into a dressing room. But here in New York City, that's not an option. So I had to squeeze all of that stuff into this closet. If you're lacking space, use huggable hangers. They're great because they're made out of velvet, so things don't slip off, and they're super thin. So they nearly triple the amount of stuff you could fit into your closet. Another thing that helps me is this dressing board. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I can't even think of what to wear. I just go to this board and pick something out. Over on this side of my closet, you can see my earrings, necklaces, rings, all of my accessories. I found this piece at a clothing store. It was just a decorative item, but I thought it would be perfect for all of my rings. And basically, it's just nails on a board. And then all of my hats are just on simple coat hooks. When I'm packing, I like to keep all of my outfits together, including jewelry. I use a little plastic bag and put a hole punch on the top so I can put all of my jewelry inside of it and hang it on the hanger. And lastly, I use these little shoe bags to hang the pair of shoes on the hangers. That way I know I have everything I need and nothing was left behind. Perfect, all packed and ready to go. I'm flying to Virginia to meet a clean freak who is a closet organizing wizard. And guess what? She does it for a living. Today, I'm in Arlington, Virginia to visit Alejandra. She takes organizing to a whole new level, so I'm sure we are gonna get a bunch of tips. Hi. Hi. Come on in. What a cute place. Thank it you. It almost looks like it's staged. <laughs> Alejandra lives in a two-bedroom condo with her fiance, Ed. And if you'd expect a pro organizer's place to be spotless, you'd be right. Alejandra's home, so adorable. Everything was neatly organized. You just felt happy when you walked into the space. Show me your secrets, let's go. We'll start, where else? With the bathroom closet. Wow, so this is my favorite spot in the house. Oh my goodness, lint roller. But I mean like in this case, like you see that it's a lint roller, but you just like to have labels everywhere. Exactly. So this is all the travel size products. So when I'm going on vacation, I'll just come here and then just like, you know, immediately grab everything I need for that trip. I think labeling things, it really helps to organize and locate. All the labeling things that are clearly like toothpaste and then this toothpaste. And that's like, <laughs> I mean, a little overboard. <laughs> then over here, 
Over here is more of like the everyday stuff. So where did you get all these pictures? So all these pictures I actually make on my own. I just use pictures offline. Flip art. Yeah, exactly. And then I just print them on these little cards and then on the back I put the Spanish version. Putting the Spanish version on the back of these picture cards is great for moms with small children since they're learning a foreign language in middle school or right. even elementary school. So I do Spanish or you can do French or any other language that you're trying to teach your children. I love this spot because it's so easy to maintain. You literally open the closet, you find exactly what you're looking for in less than five seconds and you're done. Now we're on to the home office. Alejandra loves to scrapbook and to give gifts, so she needs to keep the clutter in control. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, so it's our home office slash craft room because I have so many craft supplies. So this is coupons, processing file, and then you have all of your ribbons here on this pegboard. You know what I think is genius? That you use skewers to hang up your ribbons. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is so, I've never seen that before. That is seriously genius. So yeah. you just took a I shish kebab took, skewer. Exactly, and then I just hung it right there on the peg. That is so genius. So this is where all the gift wrap goes. And then all the gift bags are here. They're sorted by category. And then on the back, oh, wow. I have all of like holiday labels and special gift bags. And look at all of these hearts. <laughs> How many presents are you giving away? <laughs> so Alejandro's great with organizing space, but how does she organize her time? With a chore board, of course. Up here is everything that I do on a daily basis. Just some reminders of stuff that I need to take care of. There are some days that you haven't made the bed. Right. <laughs> I see that, or you haven't had enough water. Right. So you have one drink, 68 cups of water, make your bed, 30 minutes cleanup. Yeah, so at the end of the day, before I go to bed, I will set a timer over there for 30 minutes. And for those 30 minutes, I will just go around the house and put everything away. Very cool. Alejandra loves to use stickers, and I think she likes the fact that she can color code everything in her life. I thought I was organized, and apparently I'm a big fat slob. Well, I'm not fat, am I? <laughs> well, if you're this organized in your house as a girl, I definitely want to see your closet. Yeah, can let's take go. A It. Thank you. So organized. I know, isn't it? I love your closet markers. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it has the name of each section. I use color-coded hanger snaps to kind of distinguish what shirt goes on what hanger. But why do you have to have a specific hanger per item of clothing? I mean, I don't have to. It just makes it easier to find which hanger belongs to which shirt. Got it. I like that you have like one finger length between each hanger. And oh yeah, because everything needs room to breathe. I think people forget that they need, the hangers have to have a little space and all the hangers should be facing the same way. Exactly, and everything needs to be by sleeve length. Yeah. It's just because it's easier to find. And over here, let me show you. I used a towel rack from the bathroom to hang all my scarves. That is genius. I love that idea. That's one of my favorite things, just reusing products. That's not necessarily uses. for that purpose. Exactly. This is fantastic. I really thought that I was organized in my closet, but you definitely surpassed me. <laughs> Maybe you can come over one day, do this for me. Alejandra's living space is amazingly creatively put together. So when she invited me along to watch her transform a chaotic closet for a friend, I jumped at the chance. Seeing a master at work is always worth the time. I think I'm about to learn a lot. Coming up, your clothes will never fall off their hangers again after you see this. That's awesome. Then later. So what else can you control with this? Absolutely everything. How do you sync a whole family schedule, music, lights, and lives? So we put everything in the master calendar. These clean freak parents with four kids from teen to toddler have the answer. <laughs> 